I was on the island during the storm. The hurricane was indescribable, really. Uh, we had so much tornadoes. We had tsunami. Hardly any house, church that was not damaged or completely destroyed. You see hundreds of people don't have any place to go. We thank God that Samaritan police came to our rescue and they did. We're at a water point here in central Freeport, and this is one of nine water points we have around the city. Samaritan's Purse installed this in September just after the storm, and we fill it every day so people from this whole area can come every day and get water. And we found that we do have to replenish this almost every day because it's being used so much. This water depot, not only is it a place where they can come and get, uh, I think, uh, fresh water for drinking, but it becomes a kind of community gathering. The water here is not only physical water, but we're finding spiritual water here for, for spiritual thirst for persons who show up at this place. The water is free. It reminds me of the section in the Bible that says, you know, come, you know, and, and, and drink without price. I'm so thankful for this water. God bless the Samaritan Purse. I use this for my cooking. It's free. And uh, so coming here, I'm sure that these persons begin to understand the love of God. Samaritan Purse. <laughs> you can't really reach people to, to come to know him unless you're easing their burdens when it's necessary. This storm has given us the opportunity, working through you all, into the community where our people can see this is what Christian does. And hopefully this gives us a greater opening to share the gospel of Christ. In all things give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. And that sort of took on a new meaning to me.